And good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Late Night with Nana. And tonight, I have a special guest. And good, people are popping in. Jeannie Zid, hello, young lady. Sarah, how are you? I love it when she calls me Nana. <laughs> now, I have met a darling YouTuber. And she, she and I have a lot of things in common. She's become a master gardener. Um, her faith is how I believe. And she just is a young channel. And so we had been emailing and I said, well, why don't you come up on my late night with Nana? And so she is going to be here. And Cecily is, a, um, it's, it's really interesting how she does her videos because she'll be doing garden and things. And then she makes it, um, those things represent things in our life. And so that's really an interesting concept. Um, and it makes it so that she pulls her faith into those videos and it's really cool. And so I am going to pull her up and here she comes. And hello, young lady. Hey. <laughs> and um, we are going to talk about her channel. She, um, the reason why she sent me an email was because she wanted some ideas to grow her channel. And I thought, what a perfect place, because a lot of times there's a lot of good channels in the chat that, because all of us have been through the same thing that you're doing. You know, when you have less than 100 subscribers, though I did see I think it's up to 72 to today. Yeah. Yeah. So that was exciting. It was exciting. <laughs> and so I'm just going to say Donna is in. Hello, Donna. And whenever you see that little S after somebody, that means they are a member. And 12 Stones Rent is in here tonight. Hello. And Sarah says she has yet to have nearly 200 apple trees. Hey, just so you know. <laughs> Um, I thought I had 134, but then I was doing this thing and I was pulling all these great big plants out and I thought these little tiny apple trees had not made it over the winter and I'm pulling overgrown plants out and there they are leafed out. And so I actually have 140. <laughs> so that was kind of awesome. Okay. So first, Cecily. Tell us about your channel and why you want it to be on YouTube. Well, I have been really interested in gardening and for most of my life, really. And so I got my master gardener um, certification. I'm still considered an intern, so I'm working on my uh, volunteer hours. And um, but I feel like, you know, I've always felt kind of called to ministry and, you know, I wanted to kind of get on YouTube and show, use my gardening as a way to um, minister to others. Because I feel like when I'm in my garden, I'm at the, I'm at, I'm at my, my, my most peaceful time. You know what I mean? Like it's a time for me to pray. I'm in my garden and I'm praying in the morning. And I feel like while I'm planting things or while things are growing, it kind of shows how our relationship with God can be. You know what I mean? So, um, and there's so many different aspects of it. Like there's different, um, I could go on and on and on about how things in the garden represent our walk with Christ or just our walk in life and how, um, Christ uses that, you know, to, he shows me different things in the garden all the time. So I just kind of wanted to, um, I felt called to do it, you know? Awesome. Awesome. Now, Cecily's, um, channel is a seed in good soil. So there's the link for you. So if you are not a subscriber of hers, um, I would like you to go over and subscribe to her channel. And she has some little tiny short videos. She has regular videos. And she just did a video on garden maintenance. And she just went to different aspects. And that was a really good video. And you had a lot of views already on that one. So that was exciting. Thank you. And um, let's say hi to Paul. Paul is from Australia. So he, he comes on the lives lots of times and he has a fabulous garden. And so if you don't know him, you should check him out. He does lots and lots of shorts. And so that's always really interesting. And LG Homestead is in. And 
Todd is here. Todd, Joe is downstairs watching some World War II movie. So he's not coming in. <laughs> and Angie is in. Hey, Ange, how are you? Angie is my oldest daughter. And so um, she usually pops in and she helps with different things. And <laughs> Okay, so um, you started your YouTube journey. And all of us that have YouTube channels have been where we, you know, that mile marker of 100 subscribers is always very exciting. <laughs> yes. It is, you know, it's like, oh, my gosh, 100 people are watching my videos. <laughs> and so... Um, I thought we could talk about, because there are some channels in here already. So you yeah. guys, if you can give Cecily some ideas on things you did that can help her grow her channel. Um, a lot of it is just being there, you know, being consistent. If you're going to do one video a week, always do one video a week. Um, uh, sometimes people do it on specific days. I've seen people do not do it and that that hasn't made a difference. And Anne Dale is in. Anne, I'd like to introduce you to my new friend. <laughs> now, Anne and I are peas in a pod. We always say <laughs> peas in a pod. And she is a great gardener. Um, she's a member of my channel. And, um, and this is Cecily. And she has a seed in good soil. And you two would get along very well. <laughs> and so um, I was I was hoping that Anne would come in. So Anne, um, Cecily would like to know some tips, tricks, things to do to grow her channel. Oh, and I missed Love's Coffee must be in and I didn't see her. Someplace, so, um, I'm sorry, because I, I always try to find catch everybody as they come in, you know. And have you done a live stream? Yes or no? Um, are you going to do live streams? Not everybody does live streams. I plan to do some. Yes, I've, I'm not really for sure how to do them yet, so I'm going to. I'll probably be experimenting with that soon. Um, some things of um, YouTube you have to have a certain amount of subscribers and it makes it much easier to do live, but there are ways to do lives, even though when you don't meet their mile markers. And so lots of people do them before you. The, they okay. Do them. <laughs> and Anne from is little French in big Texas. Um, Anne has two darling daughters and a wonderful husband and he has a channel also. And so that's always fun. Um, this is Anne's ad advice. I say, first, be yourself. Second, find a community and make some friends. Oh, that, so true, Anne. Yeah. You know, you got to connect with people and you have to, you know, you watch their videos and you're commenting and they're watching your videos and commenting and pretty soon you're emailing and pretty soon you're texting and then <laughs> pretty soon, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and there is Rebecca. Rebecca, hello, Rebecca. How are you? And um, are there goals that you want to do for your channel? Um, I would like to expand more on other things besides gardening, too. Like, I, I, ha I also have a flower garden. Um, I like to grow herbs. So there's a lot of gardening there. Um, but I also like to cook. And, you know, I just want to show, like, simple life. My kids are so much fun. I have two boys, 11 and 14, and they're wild and they're country kids and they do a lot of crazy things. <laughs> so I kind of want to show like, you know, a lot of kids nowadays are not outside. You know, a lot of them um, are inside a lot doing, you know, they just don't, kids don't play like they used to. And I kind of want to show an aspect of what country life is like, what simple life is like for a kid, you know, in the country. So yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, I've seen with, with the boys in the motorcycle. <laughs> room and they're just dragging stuff. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like it that um people will bring their kids into the YouTube their YouTube videos. Now not yeah. everybody will do that, you know, right. and that's that's totally okay. 
You know, yeah. I think it just depends on what you want to do, what you want to get out of it, you know. Yeah. Um, but I thought they were just fun as can be when I watched them. <laughs> and um, Carol is in. Hello, Carol. How are you? And I just am scrolling real. Oh, and Teresa is here. Hi, Teresa. Teresa is also one of my members. And um, Anne is one of the members. And and Dale is one of the members. So it's just, I love it when they come in, <laughs> especially since I'm not going to see him for a week because I'm going on vacation. So, <laughs> so everybody in the chat, if there was one thing you would tell Cecily, um, uh, your, your most valuable thing you learned when you went into YouTube, you know, like Anne said, you know, find the people that you can bond with, you know, because sometimes I think maybe we try to be too many things to too many people. I think mm -hmm. it's an easy thing to fall into because all the time I get people saying, well, could you do a video on this? Could you do a video on that? Um, and that's okay. Um, and sometimes I want to, you know, it's something I've already been thinking about. And so then I would do it, but it's, you know, you have to keep true to what you want to yeah. do. Yeah. And Ann says, oh, my goodness, Sandy, how will you make it a whole week? I don't know. <laughs> but I have a lot of gardening things to do. And so that is my goal. And Joe is all excited that <laughs> I'm not doing any videos for a week. <laughs> so it, it's just fun. Um Probably some of the things that I learned was that um, you are always going to have people that don't agree with you. Yeah. That's, that's okay. Like yeah. I did this short on rooting some tomatoes, right? And I just showed how to cut the little bottle and set them in there. And all the comments except for one was okay. And this guy's going, those aren't going to root. You know, um, you're picking the wrong things. Well, over there, I have roots all on those tomato plants. So, <laughs> and it's like, okay. But, you know, I didn't say anything. It was just like, okay, whatever, you know. <laughs> oh, look at their bedding. Five bucks she sneaks on. Oh, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> and Anne, little Frenchie in Big Texas says, be yourself. Do it for fun. Do not worry about the subs and watch hours. Yeah. Yeah, because why are you doing it? You know, right. what, what are you trying to to get out of it? Yeah. Um, when I started, um, I wanted to teach people. In fact, my girls said, you should tell people how to do these things, you know. And so I actually um, made a mission statement on the, what my mission statement is, um, that I want to be self-sufficient, self-reliant and self-sustaining. And so anytime I think I'm going too far off of that mission statement, then I have to pull myself back. Yeah. That's a good idea to have a mission statement. I need to, I need to do that. And it's just like a sentence. It doesn't have to yeah. be some big thing, just, you know, a sentence. Yeah. And, um, Brian is in here. Hey, young man. Brian has had some massive good honeybee videos. I mean, it, him and two other guys have this weekly thing and they talk about bees, but um, he broke into some of his hives and it was really interesting, you know, cause I have the honeybees. And so it, it's always interesting to watch. And he knows a lot about bees. <laughs> and Teresa says, I'm glad I found you, Sandy, and everyone else in these live chats. We have so many some similar likes and goals. So nice to find a great group of people in such a world as it is. See, that is true, you know, um, because we we do have this diverse world, but you got to be good, you know, you got to surround yourself with friends. That's what you got to do. And 
they're easy to find on YouTube. Yep. <laughs> oh, and Anne just became a friend of yours. So that is. Oh, awesome. thank you. Anne. And Angie says she can't stay off to the store to get my sick love cough drops. Um, Aaron has the, the C um, flu. <laughs> and I'll talk to you this weekend. And Brian says it's been a great year. Awesome. Um, and yes, see, she, I knew you guys would have things that <laughs> she would like. <laughs> And so what you'll find, especially when you start, start doing lives, you know, you'll have some lives, you will have like sometimes some nights, you know, you have 30 people in it, 80 people. Well, I remember one night um, and Angie was helping me and it was, it was hundreds of people and it was just going so fast. You know, I couldn't even read all this stuff. <laughs> um, but you will find that my, much more people will watch it afterwards, you know, because yeah. people are busy, you know, right. and to have a certain time on a certain day, everybody, you know, they're going here and there and it's just, you know, a lot. I watch rewinds of lives all the time. <laughs> and um, what does your husband think about you being on YouTube? I, I think he thinks it's cool. I mean, he, he thinks it's neat that I'm um, comparing, you know, our walk with the Lord to gardening and how um, I, th I think he really uh, enjoys that part of it, you know. And is he going to be on videos? I hope so. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. I don't know if he wants to be on there yet, but I might I might get him on there. <laughs> um, Joe doesn't really like to be on videos, you know, even when he's building me stuff, you know he'll he's okay with a couple clips or like when i do um my vanilla bean on thursdays um yeah. he likes being my taste tester but <laughs> yeah but you know that's just the way it is yeah i think it's more my thing than his but maybe he'll come around you know maybe he'll let me put him put him in some videos <laughs> Well, and what do the boys like being in the videos? Oh yeah, they're always like, let me be in your video. <laughs> Corbin, <laughs> my youngest wants to be my cameraman, so he'll probably help me out. So, <laughs> so awesome. Okay, now how big of garden do you have? Um, I don't know how to explain how big it is. It's um, I guess it, you, I would say about a hundred feet by thirty feet. It's not huge, but it has about 28 tomatoes, tomato plants. Um, I've got three zucchini plants, four squash plants, uh, some five butternut squashes, some cucumbers, um, peppers, eggplant. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And do you preserve a lot of your vegetables? Yes, I'm always. I, I can all my tomatoes. If whatever we don't eat fresh, I can all of them. Um, okay. I either do them t diced or I make salsa or, you know, just whatever I come up with. And, but I'm, so, I'm learning how to pressure can so that I can pressure can my green beans because I have a bunch of green beans. Awesome. Um, but I've never pressure can. So I'll probably um, my first go around, I'll probably video it and okay. bring people okay. along because I want people to see like people who don't know how to, you know, who people who haven't done things. Oh, you know, doing it for the first time, I think is important for people to see because if I fail, I don't want people to feel bad if they fail as well, because it's okay. You have to learn somehow, Yeah, yeah. you know? So I'm, I'm excited to put that on there and I want people to feel like, you know, they can relate to me because I'm doing a lot of these things for the first time too. Now I have been gardening for a while, but there's things that I'm trying, like I've never done a fall garden. So I'm going to do a fall garden for the first time. And so people can see how I do, you know, I might fail at it. But that's okay. At least I'm trying it, you know, and I want them to feel like they can try it too. And if they fail, oh well. <laughs> well, I've done a few videos, um, which I called epic fail failures. <laughs> and people like them <laughs> because they're relatable, you know? Yeah, because sometimes on YouTube, I think it is that um, people, you only see the good parts, you only right. see the best part of their gardens. Um, when everything turns out perfect when they bake, well, that is not life. Not. <laughs> and um, Nisi's in here. She is from Montana. 
And she said that they just got back from a walk. Um, and little man, that's her son, um, picked some strawberries from their wild strawberry patch. Mm -hmm. I love wild strawberries. They're tiny and they're tart and oh, so good. And Cecily, um, Anne would like you to come over on her on Tuesday mornings. Okay. She has, and she's Eastern, so um, her perfect time I'm for Eastern. you. <laughs> yeah, I'm Eastern as well, so that that works out great. <laughs> but she has a lot of people that come on to that, you know, that talk on the chat part, and so you okay. will meet some really great people. Yes, I would love that. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> um, she, um, and when you go to watch Anne's. Uh, any of her videos, you'll know right away why I think you two will. Get okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Craig is in. Hey, Craig, um, we are coming over on the 24th. It's a Sunday over to South Dakota. So I will bring the jam and jellies um, then. He's getting some jams and jellies for me. And so <laughs> I didn't want to forget to tell you if you popped in. So that is awesome. <laughs> and, um, Oh, they're talking about 23 tomato plants. <laughs> if I can get one to grow properly this year, I'll be happy dancing. <laughs> I like growing lots of different types of tomato plants. Yeah. And the way our property is set up, we can't, um, you know, I don't have a big patch. So I have all these different sections. And then I, like, I just planted some more tomatoes in my front flower bed <laughs> because I, you know, they flower, they get the fruit on there. Yeah. I think it's fun. And yeah. so, you know. Um, oh, Sarah is buffering. That's me at 8 a.m. <laughs> oh, she's just joking. And Melanie is in. Hey, girl, how are you? And um, Paul says, it is good to fail in the garden. I totally agree. So do I. Yeah, because you learn as much or more sometimes when it's an epic failure. Yeah. And um, there sometimes, you know, you're growing a plant and it just does not like where it is. And you just have to move it to a different spot and then it's happy. Yep. <laughs> and I, I don't know how many times there had been flowers or a tree that was like, it was, a, it was grown kind of. And it's just like, I need to move this. <laughs> And Anne says, ah, I'm jelly. He gets jams. <laughs> so silly. And Paul says, I've failed lots of times and you always learn something. I, yeah. I totally agree. Always. It is just actually, it's amazing. And Paul has a lot of videos of failures on. <laughs> and Leanne is in. Leanne, hello. How are you? Um, Leanne has Mennonite Farmhouse. I don't know if you have met her yet. I haven't met her. Yeah, and this is Cecily, and she has a channel. I'm going to pop up her banner again, A Seed on Good Soil. And I hope everybody in the chat goes over to Cecily's channel, link right there, um, and subscribes to her. And Rebecca says, please send me a picture of the, the coat so I can try to match the color. Oh, okay, I will. She makes hats. Rebecca makes hats. Cool. <laughs> and Rebecca, actually, if you just make anything gray or black, they will be perfect because mm -hmm. um, Joe has a black coat. Um, I have a green coat and a black coat. So black or gray would be perfect. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. That's so sweet of her. And Leanne says, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> but it, it, I have to tell you that one of the biggest surprises when I started YouTube was all the people that you meet. Yeah. And if you go on to, you know, you find a few channels that you really like, and then you start going on to their live streams. I mean, mm -hmm. you can meet people in the, the comment part. And I've seen that happen. You know, somebody will say something about where they live and somebody will say, well, I live right by there and they get this conversation. But in the live chats, you, especially if you go on a few different ones, but you see the same people, you really get to yeah, look into them. And that could be a great thing with YouTube. Yeah. And um, 
Oh, there's Love's Coffee. See, I thought somebody said hi to you earlier, and then I, um, now she's saying good night. Good night. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I scrolled up and down, and I couldn't find you again. And so I hope you have a great night and a good weekend. Let me pop that off. And when, um, when you grow with your YouTube channel, you will, you have to know that sometimes you will get negative things. Yeah. And it hurts your feelings, <laughs> but YouTube is very, um, oh, Anne wants to know what state you're in. I'm in Indiana. And um, one of the things that um, YouTube is very protective of their their channels. Mm -hmm. So if you have people that say mean things or negative things, well, one, you can report them. You know, when you have the three little dots. Yeah. And it is a good thing to report them. Okay. Because if they're doing it to your channel, they're doing it to other channels. Oh, yeah, that's true. And then, and then YouTube, their computer sees all the people that are saying they're reporting that channel. And then YouTube will literally take them off. Now, wow. they could, you know, they could sign up in some other, you know, thing. But they're protective of their all the different channels. And I like that about YouTube. That's a good thing. <laughs> you know, and then delete it, too you know, remove it because nobody needs to see those things, <laughs> but it doesn't happen very often. But I remember, um, Oh, I must've been doing YouTube for, I don't know, six or seven months. And this one guy was really rude, you know, and mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do. You know, I was new. Right. And so I'm typing Doug at his way homestead. <laughs> should I do? Yeah. <laughs> and he says, it just happens. <clears throat> they're, they're just trolls that, that, and I thought that is sad. If you don't have anything better to do, <laughs> they need a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> and Anne agrees. No reason to, um, nobody needs to see when they say rude things, you know? Yeah. So as soon as I see it, I tried it. And then sometimes I'll give weird links you know, delete all those. Don't click the links to see what they're about. Just delete all those. Okay. And um, 12 Stones Ranch is telling you should check out Danny at Danny's Days Homestead. You two have I a oh. And yeah, Danny is, she has some nice things on, on her channel. So okay. definitely. And check out 12 Stones Ranch too. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I plan to go through and check everybody out. <laughs> um, Leanne says, I have only had one jerk yet on my channel comment. She is lucky. One time <laughs> I was doing a video and the person says, you are old and you have a lot of wrinkles. Well, of course I have wrinkles. I'm old. I tell people that all the time. And I thought, why would you say that? You know? And so delete. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Joe always says, I've earned these wrinkles. Right. <laughs> oh, look at Rebecca just joined. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> and um, sadly for some trolling is their hobby. I suppose that's true. You they know? need to get out in the garden. <laughs> that's a good idea. We should do videos on <laughs> yeah. out in the garden. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, see, and Anne saying that you should check out um, Danny Day's homestead too. Okay, she, I definitely she is, will. She is a nice gal. Cool. Um, <laughs> Twelve Stone says, comments reveal how strange some people truly are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and look at that. See, Leanne, I would have never thought you were 44. That is interesting. Mm -hmm. And what day are you turning 44? Because she's just saying in three weeks. Ooh because my birthday is the 29th. So she's got to be right around there. So that is fun. So Leanne, birthday. <laughs> okay. So, um, so you're going to, you're doing things in your garden. So then you're going to start cooking in your, your gar from your stuffed produce or yeah. just baking. 
or bulbs? Both. Yeah. Most likely it's, it's mainly going to be things that I grow in my garden. Um, and I might, I might throw some baking things in there too. You know, really, it just depends on, you know, what I'm doing. And if I feel like it would be good for, maybe somebody would want to know what, you know, how to make it. Yeah. So I'll just use my, you know, judgment on that, I guess. Yeah. No, people like cooking videos. Yeah. I know I do. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Um, and oh, you're telling a story that can't be. <laughs> She's talking about Leanne. Leanne's birthday is the 28th, so everybody make sure you sit, tell Leanne happy birthday on the 28th. And see, she's 28th, I'm 29th. So fun. Whoa. Oh, and look at, and Rebecca's is the 26th. Wow. And, um, everybody. I know I have a couple other people that are the same birth date as mine that are my subscribers. And so that's, that's always awesome. kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> She said, um, Sarah says, we got a birthday week. That's right. Birthdays, birthdays, birthdays. <laughs> oh, see, she was born in 78. Yeah. She doesn't look like she's 44. <laughs> um, Leanne does baking, canning. Um, she has a couple um, garden, but it's mostly in her kitchen. Cool. Okay. And, um, I think she has like six or 7,000 subscribers now. Wow, that's maybe awesome. more. Leanne, you're gonna have to tell us. So th that's always fun. And I've been watching her for a long time and she has just been growing, 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 growing. So it tells you that one, people like her. Um, it, she has really good down home cooking and people like watching cooking. I do know? too. You know, it's interesting. Um, oh, and Tina Ladybug's in here. Hey, Tina, how are ya? Hey. And Teresa says, happy birthday, July birthday, youngins. <laughs> but it, um, one thing that, and Leanne's talked about this on a live chat, is when you're doing baking videos, people um, don't want to watch you measure. You know? Um, yeah. You should have it all measured out. You can tell them the am measure amounts because people want to know that. But, um, you know, to take it out and scrape it off and it, it just takes too much time of your video. And yeah. So that's just a. That's a good I, tip. <laughs> yeah. It's just a tip. Oh, and Leanne has 7.22K friends now. Awesome. And Shelly is in here. Healthy Homestead Chick. Shelly is Doug's wife and doug has his way homestead okay and so um both great channels so <laughs> see there's all kinds of fun people in here tonight yeah <laughs> okay now what else would you like to talk about um with you and your channel um i'm just really excited to get started i mean i i've had the channel for a little while but i really just started posting in it you know just recently but i really just want to um you know let god lead me and let him work in me to deliver what he wants me to say um you know and just be here if people have any questions and i, I want them to feel like they're at home when they watch me because i don't want them to be afraid to fail th at things i want them to try things and you know start seeds in, in your house you know do things that you've maybe not done before um, a lot of the things I'm going to be doing um, for the first time as well, like the fall garden. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I just want people to feel like they can ask ask the dumb questions. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. if you don't know how to take a hornworm off of a tomato, I don't want you to be afraid to ask, you know, because some people won't ask questions because they think it's too small or it's not, um, you know, it's something that they feel stupid asking. But you're not going to know unless you ask. And I'm one of those people who used to ask all those little questions and I would feel dumb asking them, but I did it anyway. And I feel like, um, I don't want people to feel bad asking questions that they might feel is, is not a good question. You know what I mean? Because there's no dumb questions. They're all great questions. Everybody's got to learn somehow. Right. So. Right. Yeah. See that that's, that's a great philosophy, you know, and, that's a great thing to have like your email over in the um, about section because not everybody oh. does that. 
But it's a nice thing to have that because sometimes people won't write it in the chat because they think somebody will say right. something mean, but yeah. they will email you. And so that is a nice option for them. Yeah. You know? And Melanie, thank you so much. She is so sweet giving me a super sticker. <laughs> she is so sweet. <laughs> and she says, God will lead you. I want to subscribe. So that is oh, awesome. thank you, Melanie. Yeah. And Leanne says, amen. I preach the same thing. <laughs> Learn new life skills. Yeah. And as a homesteader, your whole life is always learning. You yes. Know? You stop. <laughs> There's always something new to learn. Yeah. And really when, you know, like I went through the master gardener course, you've gone through the master gardener course. I've been gardening for 30 years and I was like, Oh, I didn't know that, you know? Yeah. And I had come from South Dakota in the, in to Wyoming and Wyoming soils are different than South Dakota's. Yeah. And there are, are similar things, but then there's things that are way different. And it's like, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, okay, so Sarah says the home feeling will either click with some people or not. That is so true. There are some channels with over a million subscribers. I don't feel at home with their videos. Yeah, same. And, and that's what you have to look at. Okay, what makes me comfortable? What, um, you know, because you will find what Anne Dale always says her tribe. Right. Um, that you will find the people that you match with. And mm -hmm. um, that God mm -hmm. has a plan. Totally Absolutely. True. Believe that. Mm -hmm. And Cecily does have a good soil. <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> oh, look at here. Lynn is here. Hey, Lynn, how are you? Are you almost ready to move into that house? It's going to be so exciting. <laughs> I love it when people share and you find out, oh, they're buying a new house or they're moving to a different state um, because you get to know people. And then it's not just somebody that's on my chat or in my comments, you know, and then you're sending texts and emails and you're seeing pictures and um you find their Instagram and their Facebook. And you're learning more things, and it's it's fabulous, actually. Oh, and look at here, Doug from His Way Homestead. Doug is my YouTube brother, <laughs> and we have been fast friends for, gosh, Doug, it has it been like two two and a half years now. I think it has probably been that. That is so fun. And Lynn says that she is ready to be moving. <laughs> that is so fun. <laughs> oh, see, Paul says, I still need to put an email on my channel. You do need an email on your channel because, um, one, if you win something, the, the person you're winning from, the first thing they're going to do is go to your about section and see if you have an email. Um, because sometimes people will try to steal other people's gifts. Ooh. Yeah. And it was probably like a year, year and a half ago, and it was happening a whole bunch. And like Tim from Ridge Life, me, um, other channels, um, and they would send an email as if they were that person and it wasn't them. Wow. And so, but I haven't had that happen for a while, but um, it was happening. See? Melanie has subscribed to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, Teresa is in here too. Hey, Teresa, I I saw that you won on Jam It Up June. Did you see that? That you were a winner? Um, on Tony's channel, he has a list of all the winners and you won some stuff. Ooh. So congratulations on that. And Anne says, be sure you're your about page is filled out well. It helps a bunch. It does. You know, you can say where you live or you don't have to. You could say, I live in the South or I live in the Midwest because some people don't want to give too much information. Okay. It's like when YouTube tells you, don't ever have a video that has your house address on it. So like if you're filming in your front yard, um, you don't want to have your numbers of your house. Um, they don't want people knocking on your door <laughs> and saying, Oh, I love your YouTube. And you're going, mm -hmm. who are you? <laughs> it, 
it's just to keep you safe. And so there's just things that um, they want to protect you. And Teresa did see that she was the winner. Hey, Melissa, how are you? She says, I almost forgot because I'm in North Carolina and it is late there. <laughs> <laughs> That is right. Tony is a plotter and instigator of fun. And he is working on another collaboration that I'm in. But I don't know if I can say anything about it yet. So I can't tell you. And, um, oh, yes. Be careful of your address. You should have a P.O. box. Okay. Because um, you're you're giving somebody your address. They'll say, oh, I want to send you something. Um, <laughs> cycle. And... <laughs> And so you have to be careful of that. And Anne says that it's 1140. Is that how much, that's your time too, isn't it? Yeah, it's my time too. <laughs> okay. So in the chat, anybody else? Would, oh, look at Teresa subscribing to you. See, people are subscribing. Uh -huh. so Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> and um, that's true. You got to get a PO box. It costs you about $100, $110 a year for oh. a, a little tiny one, just so you know. Yeah. Okay. But if you start making money on YouTube, you have to have deductions because it is, you know, they send you a form that um, you have to do your taxes with. Oh, okay. So a PO box is a deduction. Every time I mail a gift out, you know, that somebody won is a deduction. Okay. Because if you have all this money you make on YouTube and you don't have any deductions, you're paying taxes. <laughs> You know, so if you, um, oh, like certain things cost you money um, to, you know, like when you're doing up your video and um, it's not Nightbot. Does Nightbot cost me money? It probably does. Um, and then I do it on StreamYards. That costs me money, but it's all deductible. So, um I changed your channel also. I don't know what that's, but they must be talking about something that I didn't see. Oh, um, Leanne's cost $72 a year. I, I suppose it depends on what state you are. Okay. I mean, your PO box costs. Because it used to be in here in Gillette, I paid, it was $70 or $80. But then when I got mine in, when we went down to Arizona, but my PO box is actually in California because it's eight minutes away from my house. Um, it cost me $110. But when I came back and I had to renew Wyoming, it had gone to 110 So, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> now I'm curious to see what it is here. Yeah, well, you know, and it is kind of nice to have a P.O. box for certain things, you know. Yeah. If somebody wants to send you something, you can give them the P.O. box. If you're ordering things, it's kind of nice to go to a P.O. box. Yeah. And so it has some benefits to it. Um, yeah. Depends on which post office you're around, $80 to $110. Yeah. Okay. Um, Doug, let me put her link back on there. There's um, her link. Because when you're a small channel, sometimes it's hard to find a small channel. Yeah. You, know, you put... The words exactly. Um, that's why when people have channels and they just use their name um, and you pull it up and there's 15 people with that same name. <laughs> and, and then you you just don't know. Yeah, um, you're right, Doug. StreamYards does cost. You know, they do have a free version, but it's not as good. And so if you do a lot of lives, um, you're better off. And like I have Canva that helps me make um, thumbnails and stuff like that. And that costs me, but okay. you don't have to have some of that stuff right away. But if you start making money, you want things that are deductions. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And then you want to keep all your receipts in some kind of envelope or a notebook or something, because when you go to do taxes, you don't want to have to be going, Oh, here, I don't know. I don't know what I paid. <laughs> And um, Melissa, subscribe to your channel. Thank you, Melissa. Patricia, subscribe. And Teresa, to your thank you too. <laughs> um, just a second. I can post. Uh, let's. I'll do a. 
they want a, a, a link that they can just click onto. So give me one second and let me do that. So there it is in the chat. And then they can just click right over there to you. Awesome. Yeah, so, but I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, you know, you must have at least 10 or more new subscribers just from the live so far. Thank you all so much. I've really enjoyed being here with you and I appreciate it. And um, I want you to make sure you watch all of her videos. She doesn't have a lot of videos, so you might as well watch them all. You know, <laughs> there you just go. go to that homepage, click play all and like every single one of them and make comments. <laughs> <Yeah>. Thank you. <laughs> and oh, and see, Lynn went over and subscribed. See, it's just thank you, add, Lynn. Just adding up, I tell you. <laughs> but I'm going to let you go. Thanks so much for being on my live late night with Thank Nana. you for having me. I um, I think you're my first guest. I, I mean, I've had guests on the other one, my Monday night one, lots of times. But I think you were my first one on Late Night with Nana. Well, um, great. <laughs> Doug is a new subscriber. Oh, thank you, Doug. See? I plan on going and checking everybody else out in the chat, too. So, Teresa says that you have 83 now. Yay. Thank you for letting me know, Teresa. And, oh, we'll have to say hi to Jen first before we go. <laughs> Jen... You won on Jamming Up June. I saw your name on on a winner too. So if you haven't gone over there, you know, you have to do it by a certain date or he's given the prizes to other people. So, and Leanne says we might get her to 100 tonight. That would be awesome. <laughs> well, the other day, um, Shelly was almost to 1,000 and people just kept, you know, it was awesome. <laughs> Plus, you'll, you'll get a whole bunch when people watch, you know, the rerun of it. So, oh, yeah. 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 So, um, but I'm going to let you go because I like my lives about a half hour. And we are way past that. <laughs> <laughs> and it is late where you are. You're going to be going, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> but everybody have a great night. I hope you have a good weekend. And remember, I am on vacation. And no matter what Sarah says, that she's betting five bucks that I will be on YouTube <laughs> during the week. No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Especially because you guys are betting. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody, have a great night. And Cecily, thanks so much for coming on. Well, and thank I, you. I, mean. <laughs> I hope you just have this great experience with YouTube and that your channel just keeps growing and God uses you to talk because I really like how you you're in the garden, you're pulling those hornworms off and then you relate it to our life with God. And that, I find that just so cool. Thank you. And so um, we will be praying for you and just have a blessed weekend. Everybody in the chat, we love you. And thank you so much for going over and subscribing and you will love her channel. Okay, so I'm gonna let everybody go. You stay on, don't click okay. on. <laughs>